what is up guys Tyree plays here welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be going through the DLS 2022 uh, update and we're just going to be taking a look at what they first touch games <laughs> have updated and going through like the new uh, changes and graphics and stuff so first of all the thing that you can clearly see is that they've got a new background it's now black now and with like you can see if you can like See in the distance, I've got fans in a stadium. It looks really cool. I think it's better wow. than the old version, which was like ooh, a white background. It was kind of boring. But they've done a good job in doing that. I'll show you the Dream League Soccer 2021 one right now. This is what it looked like in DLS 21. As you can see, it was pretty boring, guys. Uh, not really much to see. It was all like white and stuff. It was, it was pretty bland. So they definitely did a good job of updating the game as you can see like the transfers looks much better and also the pitch as well as you can see like the pitch underneath the players cards is like darker uh yeah it just brings a whole new like shade of color and then also another change when you go into this we have uh, this screen now this UI change it's showing the layout of the formation and the teams and then the kits in the top right corner and then i'll just take you to dream league soccer 2021 which was like this and as you can see it's still again pretty boring not really much to look at all the names of the players down in the line and the captains standing with their kits so i think they did a really good job in dls 22 of upgrading like the ui changes and in like um graphics changes you can see like they made the pitch a bit lighter like they brought the lighting up a bit and the fans if you can see are animated as well with like loads more crowd banners and stuff let me just get that up as you can see in the background guys they've got a lot more like banners and flags to make it look way more realistic and they've improved look at i mean look at the graphics of the stadium guys pretty sick right oh yeah also another change if you can see the color of the seats are also blue which is my team's home kit so they've added that to the uh stadium, which i think is a pretty cool thing to do and yeah what i was saying about the pitch guys that they, they, they've kind of brought the lighting up a bit so it looks way more brighter and a bit more saturated compared to when they brought the DLS 21 update out. They kind of made it um, darker, like they toned it down. But now they've brought the lighting back up again, which I think is way better. And also another thing I noticed, guys, now you can change the camera angle of your free kicks. If you want to shoot or you want to... Okay, that just did it automatically. But if you want to shoot or pass... You can now change the camera angle. It's much easier. Again, another good thing they've added to the update. I think did really well there. Let's try and score one. Or oh, oh, that was so close. But yeah, guys, as you can see in the background, all the flags waving. They didn't have that in DLS twenty one, and the fans look a lot more like more animated. As you can see in the celebrations and stuff, they've got the flags out of our colors: blue, gold, and black. Which I love, by the way. I just love seeing it. It's so like satisfying. To see. Also, they have upgraded a player in my transfer market. I remember Phil Foden. I think he was about 78 rated in Dream League 21. And he's now a legendary player at 81. He deserves that upgrade. He's really good. And also, Bruno Fernandes, 82 rated. Um, not really many other upgrades. We do have a new player face for Maguire, Trent. Sandra, I think, De Bruyne, Bruno as well. So there are uh, loads of different things. But again, guys, they haven't added Bundesliga players, which I think they really need to add because they are kind of lacking in that respect. They really need to get the licensing sorted for that. It would just be amazing. Like, you could play with Lewandowski, all them players. But one more thing they have added, though, uh, as you go here, you click the top left corner and you have these challenges that you can do. You see they've added it to the game in addition to the season pass they already had. So you get some challenges that you have to do. They come out daily. 
and it's like challenges like this to like keep one clean sheet with a certain player and you get a coin reward or sometimes a gem reward you play the game you just get 40 uh, season points which is brilliant you could progress more so even though they did like kind of nerf the co coaching system a bit in the last update uh, they have improved in some aspects by helping you out in the game and another thing as well they have got a load of new well not a load but a few like new kits that you can do you've got some new ones that i counted already you've got camo b which is the one i really like i've chosen it for my kits you've got camo a which again is right but i think camo b is better you've got lines b which is like just lines going across the shirt small and big lines a lines going uh vertically uh dots as well in the middle of the shirt again you've got a diamond instead of like uh, the squares on your kit so I, and they've added also a gradient c which is like most of the kit is one color and then just that one side is a different color which i really like in my opinion i think it's, um just better also the light like, if you can see here you guys change the ui of this a bit compared to dreamly 20 and also 21 i mean and also they've upgraded well not upgraded they've added new like hairstyles you can give or hair colors you can give your manager so you can have like you can have green hair now you can have pink hair you can have red blue whatever color you want there are so many to choose from i'm just gonna stick with like darkish brown hair and also the beards as well pretty cool addition well i mean they had them but i don't think in this much like detail you know what beard should we choose? Uh, let's choose. Uh, which one? This one. Let's go with that. And uh, yeah, just like added. This is why you now change your boots and shirt number and all that good stuff. And yeah, not really much else to say, really. Oh no, there is one other big thing they did add. A new facility in the recruitment part but basically what they did with this as you can see it says two percent on scout discount off and one percent off agent discount they basically took that from the commercial uh center and added it to recruitment so it's not really a big change guys i think they just done it just to act like oh we've got another new facility yay but then it's kind of rubbish when you think about it they just took it from there and as you can see, finally, guys, look, the seats are the colour of our home kit. Wait, so let me just change our home kit's colour real quick. We we'll see, let's just change it to, say, red. And we go back to our stadium. Look, the uh, seats are red now. Let me do it with one more colour. Let's go, let's go green. Go back to the stadium, and the colour's green. So that, that is a pretty cool addition, I think, in my opinion. They've done really well in those respects. But overall, guys, I think the update was successful in many ways. They have added a lot of new stuff to the game. They've added um, uh, the different kind of seats. They've added some daily challenge challenges, which I think will really improve the thing. But there's one more thing I want to show you that's in where you download it from the Play Store. And that thing was, guys, where do you say here? Uh, immersive in-game commentary what they did was basically they just added a few new lines to the commentary and put it immersive in-game commentary i don't think that's immersive but they did say you can see here the improved gameplay ai now it says teams now dynamically change positioning and runs in all formations so the ai will be like more harder to face really and yeah right here confirmation of that enhanced stadium atmosphere we've added more officials star fans banners and flags to recreate the real experience which i think looks great but guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to smash like subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and i'll see you guys in the next video sorry i took a long break from youtube stuff to do and everything but i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye